My name's Brian D'Agostine. I go online as Dags Bricks. I'm Melissa D'Agostine, Brian's wife. My, my very supportive wife. <laughs> and so what is the, the build we're showing off here? <laughs> so this is a whole Lego dress that's built completely out of Technic pieces. There's no glue involved in it. There's no thread to hold pieces together. It's all just the Lego itself as it holds. The idea started with uh, trying to create something that was flexible and small. Um, that morphed into some shoes, which she's not wearing right now, but the shoes, we wore them last year around the convention. And once I built the shoes, I thought, you know what? These shoes need something to go with them. Why not a whole dress, right? <laughs> exactly. So the shoes are built with rubber pieces and uh, not these shoes, but the shoes that were built started with rubber. And then I used these small Technic pieces to build a little more durable dress. And it's built in two pieces. The whole thing weighs about seven pounds. And um, the movement is limited, but she can still breathe and move around and twist a little. We're not, we're not, it works. We're not going to go dancing. But we certainly can walk around for a while in it. There you go. And you got the purse as well there. Yeah. I kept a few things in my purse last year. This year I'm here for just a short time. So, so uh, how, how comfortable is this to wear? Can you wear it for very long? It's not uncomfortable. <laughs> I wore it both days last year, and it was it was all right. This year, I'm only here for a short amount of time, and I find knowing that I'm going to only be in it for a short amount of time, it's okay. I'm glad for that. There you go. And so when you first started on this, how did you decide on, on this particular Technic piece and design? Did you mess around with several different types of pieces for it? Um, you know, I honestly don't know. I think I pretty quickly found the short uh, 2L lift arm and thought that in order to make it flexible and to build it out in two directions you needed to go two dimensions uh, two two long one direction and three long the other direction so by using the 3L Technic pin um, that allowed me to expand in both directions and I think it was a pretty easy um, solution when I came to it it was just trying to figure out the iteration of pins because you can't go straight otherwise you get a very thin belt so every row has to stagger this way and then that way and this way and that way so once once I kinda of figured out a pattern for the iteration and how to put the whole thing together um, it wasn't quick but I could pretty easily build a large piece of fabric and then once the fabric was built I could take that and we worked with um, form fitting it and molding it around there are some portions on the dress that don't look quite right and those are the portions where maybe I took a row of, uh, of the lift arms out so that you know we could tuck it in a little bit right above her hips or you know push something out a little more so that you know just so that it would fit fit her body a little better and not look like a barrel. <laughs> there you go so when, when you aren't wearing it where, where is it stored? Um, unfortunately it's usually folded up and stored in a box but at some point I would like to have it displayed um, we were invited to a fashion show last year, so we got to show it off for an evening. It would be nice to find a permanent display for it. Uh, one of the, this is just one of the big amazing builds around here that we'd like to have on permanent display at the Bricks Museum at some point. Um, for now, if there's somewhere around Portland that would be interested in displaying it, I'm happy to talk to them about doing that. It needs to be seen and shared, not tucked away. <laughs> Definitely, and I noticed you've also got the bow tie and belt from similar pieces here. Correct. You know, I figured once I dressed her up, I should at least be walking around and match her to some effect. And the belt actually works pretty well. I mean, it, it unbuckles and all that. It's got a buckle and the, and the shaft to go into little holes through here. I wore it, actually wore it one day, walking around doing stuff, and it held up okay. Some pieces fell off, but it really is amazingly strong and functional. Um, the bow tie is the same design. It's got a little, a few extra different pieces in it than the dress. And I sell those on my Etsy shop, which is etsy.com slash store shop. I, I don't know, Dags Bricks on Etsy. I've got the bow ties for sale as well. Well, very impressive. I think it turned out great. All of the wearable Lego here. So I think it's a really unique, cool item. Thank you both Thank you. for talking with us. Thank you very much.